Researchers led by Nanyang Technological University have grown mini kidneys using stem cells, and that's to help them better understand kidney diseases and develop, develop possible treatments. Faraz Jiraimi with more. You're looking at a kidney with polycystic kidney disease, or PKD. The disease causes cysts to grow in the kidney and reduces its function, which could eventually lead to kidney failure. Patients with this disease rely on drugs to bring it under control. For severe cases, they will need to undergo dialysis. Currently, there is no effective drug in Singapore that can stop the cysts from growing. Most of the drugs available for them can only be used to manage the disease-associated uh, complications such as hypertension. Uh, only one of the drugs have been recently approved for clinical use, which is tavapatone, but it has very high liver toxicity. So that's the reason why I believe even in Singapore, this drug is not allowed for use. The research led by NTU is trying to better understand the PKD disease by growing kidney organoids or mini kidneys. They take human body cells from a patient with PKD and then genetically reprogram them into stem cells. Chemicals are then added to grow them into mini kidneys. They will then develop the disease in about a month's time. PKD is chosen for the study because it's one of the most common genetic diseases in the world. Overall speaking, one person out of 500 to 1,000 will carry this disease, which ultimately will develop into end-stage renal failure. We only want to use this type of disease as a proof of concept to validate the efficacy and the usability of our organoid platform. In the future, they hope the research extends to other kidney diseases. But one doctor said the challenge is whether the mini kidney can fully function as an adult kidney. If they can, then it allows us to study in the laboratory first the effects of certain environmental conditions that can cause disease and we can later on test out the effects of certain drugs on these mini kidneys before even testing them out on animals or in clinical studies on humans. The mini kidney developed by the team is only 1 to 2 millimeters in diameter. The team hopes to make it larger and inject more functions to the mini kidney so that it can function like a real kidney.